I'm the founder of EcoStrategy. We're an organization that started off working almost solely for environmental non-governmental organizations to ensure that they had access to high quality media relations and government relations work. While that is still important work for us, in the interim, we've done a lot of work for organizations, trade associations dealing with energy efficiency and conservation. We've helped the Government of Ontario with the Green Energy Act. And increasingly, we do work with First Nations, both in BC and in Ontario. It's been an honor and a pleasure to work with so many Canadians across Canada concerned about the environment and conservation. I was really proud of the work we did with Ontario Nature, establishing the provincial parks, getting the Bruce National Park established. Some of the work that we've done with the First Nations in Northern Ontario has been exciting and interesting stuff. A lot of the campaigns for organizations like Friends of the Earth, which deal with campaigns with a global touch, dealing with things like climate change, are always fun to work with. And of course, I take a great deal of pride in the, uh, having helped get the 50 million tree program established. It's really important from a climate change perspective that we get more trees planted. Forest Ontario was a, an idea that I helped get off the ground years ago. I take pleasure in the fact that we've been able to keep it going with the infusion of federal money this spring. And it's gonna be really fa fascinating to see what the next stage is with Forest Ontario. Friends of the Earth, uh, B. Olive Astry is uh, tireless in that organization. And she always comes up with outrageous ideas and fascinating and fun campaigns to work on. The focus of my work now is a lot of it's done with uh, trade associations tied to energy conservation issues. We're doing an awful lot of work with Forest Ontario, which is always a pleasure because we can't plant enough trees. And at the same time, we do a great deal of work, particularly with the Anishinaabe Aski Nation, which is the Treaty 9 area, uh, providing them with advice on energy, environment, climate change, and other resource-based issues when I was working for Ontario Nature, it became really apparent to me the need for communicating the position and how integral that was to having a successful and winning campaign. So since then, I've put enormous amounts of effort into better understanding how government decision gets made so they can be influenced. And as well, we've put out literally thousands of media releases for environmental organizations since 1997. The nice thing about my career is I've also been able to work with people like the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario, Gord Miller, and Diane Sachs. Both people have put in huge amounts of effort and contributed to making Ontario better, each in their own particular way.